The long-awaited Samsung Galaxy S8 has arrived at Appalachian Wireless. Get yours for the introductory price of just $149.99 with a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The Pikeville Police Department hosted the third annual Officer Appreciation Ceremony today at the East Kentucky Expo Center in Pikeville. The Pikeville Police Department was joined by Kentucky State Police, Commercial Vehicle Enforcement, the Pike County Sheriff's Office, the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, local officials, and state officials. We do what we do because of our community, and we are afforded uh, the liberty to do what we do by our community. Um, they play a huge role in the decisions that we make. Uh, they also play a, a huge role in how we police. Organizers say events like this provide an opportunity for each department to come together as one. If you see some of the signs that were decorated on Main Street that were put up by not only the businesses, the city of Pikeville, one of those signs says to some this is a thin blue line, to others it's a family crest because truly we are one family. Immediately following the officer appreciation ceremony, the Pikeville Police Department hosted a fallen officer memorial at the Pike County Fallen Officers Memorial statue just outside the Pike County Courthouse. Loved ones as well as community members were able to lay roses by the statue in honor of those who have given their lives. It lets us all know that our heroes are not forgotten. I lost mine a long time ago. Um, and that's why it's so important to come back to things like this, and especially in our hometown where he worked, to know that the guys that come through here and do that job every day like he did, remember, remember him and his sacrifices and all of the men who have lost their lives and their sacrifices that they made. The ceremony is hosted each year during National Police Week. Reporting in Pikeville, I'm Shelby Steele for EKB News.